Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. In the previous video, we have seen this closer based validation rule in the Laravel. So now, let's suppose in your application, you need to add this validation rule in the multiple places. So in that case, what you are going to do? Are you going to copy paste this code in multiple places where you need it? Of course not. So for that, we are going to extend the Laravel validator. Let's see this. So in the app service provider, in the boot method right here, we will call the validator facade and then we will call extend method. And make sure to import this validator facade, this one right here. This allow us to give the global name for this rule. So here we can say its name is match current password. In the next parameter, we are going to pass the closure function to add our rule. Similar like this one. But here the parameters are slightly different from this one. So first parameter is going to be the attribute. And then we get the value and here we have a parameters and next we have a instance of the validator. So first let's die dump these variables to see their values. So next first let's copy this rule name and now in the controller here let's comment this and we're going to pass. So here we will say match current password and here we also forget to pass the required rule as well we can pass it like this on the browser let's refresh and submit now here you can see the the attribute is the current password this one and the value is one two three Right now these parameters are empty array and the validator is instance of validator in case we need this right here. Now let's talk about these parameters. Right here these parameters are going to be the values which we will pass in the controller right here. So here if we pass match current password and then colon let's say abc. Now refresh resubmit this now can see it has a array of abc it is very similar like this one min length 8 whatever we pass after colon is going to be accepted in these parameters right now we don't need this so let's undo this now let's add a logic to match current password in this closure based rule we have a failed method if this does not match a password but right here in this case it should return a boolean value so very first thing here we will add if auth check if user is not logged in then return false now if the user is logged in and then we will match this user password so let's copy this and paste it here so this value is going to be here and here we will say auth user password and make sure to import this this one now this has check returns uh, boolean so here we can return this so what here we are doing first we check if a current user is not logged in then return and next we check the hash check this value is this one from the form request and this is the password of the current logged in user because this hash check returns a boolean so we have returned it directly now let's test this in the browser refresh any random password and submit now it failed because we have entered the incorrect current password now let's pass the correct one
submit and now it has updated successfully now here you may also notice that if i pass wrong current password and you will see a weird validation message let me zoom little bit validation dot match current password so to fix this we can pass the validation message in the next parameter right here here we can say invalid current password now refresh let's try one more time now this time it is user friendly message invalid current password but if uh, you also want to take care of the translation as well in that case instead of passing the validation message right here we can pass it in the language files so in the lang and here is the validation.php right here we can add match current password and then the the similar like this one the colon attribute is invalid now let's try wrong current password update the current password is invalid now this validator extend is fine but now let's say if uh, in your application you have added too many custom rules like this or you have too many logics in this rule in that case your service provider is going to be look very messy and unorganized and it will be very difficult to understand what is going on so in that case you probably want to move this into a class and it's very very simple so let's go create a class for this so for that i am going to add this in a folder let's say folder name is rule actually laravel also provide a rule based validation but for now uh, this class is not a rule based class and we will talk about the rule based validation rule in the next video so instead of creating a rule folder let's name it validator and right here in this validator folder i will create match current password.php and add namespace next class match current password class and in this class we have a only one method validate and this validate is the exactly same thing this one so it is going to accept the same parameter like it has accepted right here in this closure so let's copy this and paste that right here and next let's copy this logic from here next paste it here now right here let's comment this and here i'll say validator extend here we need to pass the name of the validator that is match current password and next here i will pass the class of this match current password so here i'll say match current password class this is all we need here now let's see this in the browser so refresh add invalid password and update and it works exactly same the current password is invalid now let's pass the correct password new password confirm password and save and it has worked the password is updated now if you have a lots of validator rules it is not going to look bad now in the next video we will see custom validation using rule objects so thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.